Hi dear students, so this is Dr. Karthik. I welcome you all for the Ardent MDS. The topic one we are going to see is about Corax score and CT severity score. One of the very important topic for your DTMDX exam. So you can expect some questions from this. So what is Corax and what is CT severity? So just before we know that, we have to know what are the imaging techniques available for COVID-19 patients. Right, number one. chest x-ray and followed by you need to go for CT chest. So these are the two important imaging modalities available for diagnose or suspect COVID-19. Apart from this you can also go for ultrasound as an adjuvant. Right? But all these techniques or all the imaging techniques does not air final diagnosis for COVID-19. So till now in India, the final diagnostic method is RT-PCR. Right. So coming to the MCQs. So number one, all are indication for the chest x-ray except. So for chest x-ray, moderate symptoms or severe symptoms of COVID-19 are an indication. So first option, Moderate symptoms of a COVID-19 is an indication of chest x-ray, so it is right. Severe symptoms of COVID-19, yes. So moderate, severe. There is one more category, mild. So in a mild case, chest x-ray is not indicated or mild symptoms, chest x-ray is not indicated. But in case, in a mild symptoms, if the patient age is more than 60 years, more than 60 years, or if the patient is diabetic or if the patient is having any chronic lung disease, liver disease or kidney disease or if he is immunocompromised then we need to go for chest x-ray. So there are three categories, mild symptom, moderate symptom, severe symptom. So moderate symptom, severe symptoms you need to go for chest x-ray. All the mild cases or mild symptoms need not to go for bed. In case, if the mild symptoms are associated with this, you need to go for chest x-ray. So what about the last option? Immunocompromised patient with mild symptoms, yes, chest x-ray is not indicated. In case, the patient is having flu-like symptoms in COVID-19 pandemic time, you need to go for chest x-ray, need not. Because in COVID-19 pandemic, patient may have a common cold. So for common cold, you need to go for taking chest x-ray. So this is the option, right? So this is the answer for the particular question which was asked. Right. Now coming to the indication of chest x-ray, right? You need to go for three types of symptoms. Mild, moderate, severe. So for moderate and severe is an indication. Mild only if the patient age or some chronic disease are associated, you need to go for chest x-ray. That's it. Right, coming to the chest x-ray findings, there are two important chest x-ray findings. Number one, ground glass opacities and number two, consolidation. So these are the two important chest x-ray findings associated with the COVID-19. So they may give you some pictures. They may ask you what is this diagnosis or what is this feature called as in your exam. So for this we need to go for images of COVID-19 patient. So this is a normal x-ray and this is the patient of COVID-19 chest x-ray. In case if you see this normal x-ray, so just see the periphery, look very normal, right? Very normal. And what is this opacity here? So this is nothing but cardiac match, right? But coming to the COVID-19 patient in chest x-ray, so see here in the periphery, there are some opacities, right? So these are some opacities, right? So, this is ground lens appearance plus consolidation which is suggestive of COVID-19, right. This ground lens appearance generally for a COVID-19 patient is bilateral. Initially it may be unilateral but it became bilateral, multifocal, okay, clear. So the second imaging modality is CT chest. So coming to the indications of CT chest which is in expect. For regarding the CT chest, 
There are two types of category of patient. Number one, suspect case. Number two, proven case. Suspect cases, they may be the patient having some symptoms. So that is suspect case. Proven cases, RT-PCR positive. Right. Coming to one by one. Suspect case in an emergency situation. Okay. Let's just give you some example. So, one month before, my father had a COVID positive. Okay. And then immediately it is came in COVID positive. Then he is clinically deteriorating. Okay, he may have he had some symptoms. So immediately we shifted to the hospital, which is uh, around 200 kilometers from my native. Okay. So my ma mother also went along with him. So then when he admitted, slowly he was improving. But uh, my mother had some symptoms too, after two to three days. Okay, then. Uh, what we planned was, we just planning to go for RT-PCR. So when you go for RT-PCR, they asked about your Aadhaar card number. So in an emergency, we came to the hospital, we just kept the Aadhaar card in the house. In the house, there was nobody. So we are not able to take an Aadhaar card, RT-PCR also. So in that emergency situation, she suspected emergency situation. So what we done is, we just taken a CT chest. So once we taken a CT chest, then it came as a negative. Okay. So we have to go for an emergency situation of suspect case, but proven case of hospitalized patient. Just go through this and this option. Both are confirmed case, but we need not to go for all the confirmed case of COVID-19 CT chest. So you can. So except you can go for this, confirm COVID-19 cases, okay. And one of my friend, he was admitted in the, sorry, he was confirmed COVID-19 case and he just 30 years old and he does not have any symptoms, just mild symptoms of COVID-19 was there, okay. He is perfectly alright, so he doesn't went for the CT chest, okay. So next coming to this. RT-PCR negative, but the patient is clinically deteriorated. Even though RT-PCR negative, if the patient is having clinically deteriorated, I mean day by day, if the patient having some symptoms are increasing, then you need to go for CT chest because they make you false negative. And when molecular diagnostic methods are not available, in case if the patient is residing in area, and in a particular area where this molecular methods are not available, so then you have to go for CT chest. And if the patient is having symptom, right? So these are the things which are indication of CT chest. Except all the confirmed case need not to go for. And imaging is indicated only in cases or confirmed cases with clinically deteriorating. Not all the patient of confirmed COVID-19 need not to go for CT chest. So now you know what are the indications, right? And coming to the CT chest findings. There are four important findings which you have to know. Number one, related to the CT chest, again this ground glass opacity and number two, consolidation and number three, crazy paving and number four, a toll side. I'll just tell you what is a toll side later. Right. So we just see one by one. What is called a ground glass and consolidation? How it look like? So just before we go here, just see the picture of this is a ground glass opacity of CT chest, and this is a imaging of consolidation, right? So we just see one by one. So ground glass opacity, if you see, so this patient is having here ground glass opacity, right? ground glass opacity and here in case of consolidation it look like this can you mark the difference between ground glass opacity and the consolidation can you mark the difference yes in case of ground glass opacities the bronchial and vascular markings are still present right but in case of consolidation you cannot see any bronchial and vascular marking right so ground glass opacity is attenuation of bronchi so 
In case consolidation, it is just a progressive of ground glass opacity, you completely absence of vascular marking. Both have a different Hounsfield unit, which is used for CT. Right? So this is what called as crazy pain. So what is called as crazy pain? So crazy paving is thickening of the interlobar and interlobular septa. So this is how it looks like. So this white color. So it becomes some net fish net appearance, right? So this is called as crazy paving. This is again one of the imaging uh, thing for your COVID-19, right? And the next one is about atoll sign. So what is called atoll sign? If you see here, so you have some consolidation, right? Consolidation in the periphery. In the periphery, in the center, you can see some ground glass opacities. So this is what called as atoll sign. So in this picture, you can able to see still more clear. So here, just you see the peripheral opacities. The center, you can see the ground glass opacities. This is called atoll sign. So there are four findings which you can see it with a CT chest. Number one, ground glass opacity. Number two, consolidation. And number three, atoll sign. And number four, crazy period. Clear? So coming to the Hounsfield unit of ground glass opacity. So for the ground glass opacity it is minus 800 to minus 100. And generally for the Hounsfield unit which is used for CT. And we have to know the unit for other like water, air, all these things. For air it is minus 1000. And for water it is 0. And for lens is minus 900 and for consolidation it is positive that is 30 plus 30 for all the other things it is minus or zero so these are the things you may expect in your exam right so now you have to know the Hounsfield unit of water that is 0 and minus 1000 for lungs it is minus 900 for ground glass opacity it is minus 800 to minus 100 for consolidation it is plus 30 so these are the values which you have to know for house field now coming to the CT rat score so the patient is having score of 5 so what is the suspicious for COVID-19 so CT rats score is only for the suspicious of COVID-19. It is not a confirmatory method or it is not given an idea about severity of the patient. So coming to this, we have a 6 score of CORATS. Right, so CORATS score, which number 1, which is the normal CT findings will be seen. And in case of 2, the patient is having findings like tuberculosis. And three, more of the patient to have a CT finding look like in COVID-19. And four, the patient have suspicious for COVID-19. And five, typical COVID-19 features are there. So based on that, we can tell it as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And five means the patient is having very high suspicious for COVID-19. And two, low. And three is intermediate. Four is high. So and six. In case the patient is RT-PCR positive, okay, need not to go for CORATS, that to go for CORATS 6. So, maybe they give an exam, give some values of CORATS, they may ask you what is the suspicious of COVID-19. So, for this you need to go for this particular table card. Right, coming to that, next part that is CT severity score. So, before I just go to the CT severity score, okay, you need to go for anatomy of the lung. Right lung has a 3 lobe and left lung has a 2 lobes. So based on the amount of or part of the lung involvement, they are given the score from 1 to 5 for each lung. Okay, in case less than 5 percentage of the lung involved, it is given a score 1. Okay, and 5 to 25 percentage of the lung is involved, gives score 2 
and 25 to 50 gives score 3, 50 to 75 score 4 and if it is more than 75 score 5 is given for each lobe of the lens. Suppose for an example, so in case of a right upper lobe, if suppose 5 percentage of the lung is involved, we give score of 1. In case middle lung, if it is involved 25 percentage, then you have to give score of 2. In case a lower lobe, right lower lobe, if it involved more than 50 percentage, okay, then give score 3. Okay. And in case if it is involved more than 75 percentage, okay, then give score of 4. Okay, suppose again, if it is a less than 5 percentage is involved, give score of 1. Now calculate all these things. 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 1, 11. So the CT severity score for the particular patient is 11. For how much? So for each low, there are totally 5 scores. So 5 to 5, 25. So 11 out of 25. So based on that, we just category the patient into this way. Mild, moderate, severe. And if the overall score is less than 8, we can categorize it into mild CT severity, 9 to 50, moderate. And if it is 4 to 15, it is called severity. This patient had an 11 out of 25. So we can categorize them into moderate. Okay, so this is the way to answer for CT severity score, right? And what are the findings which not seen in the COVID-19 patient? So in COVID-19 patient, you cannot see pleural effusion and pulmonary nodules, which are not seen, and even cavitation, which is not seen in the patient of COVID-19. Also, lymphadenopathy. So, these are the findings which are not seen in the COVID-19 patient. Again, this is, they may ask you uh, which findings are not seen in the COVID-19 as an MCQ. So, even ultrasound can be used as an adjuvant for patient of COVID-19 in an emergency condition. So, what are the take-home message? So, imaging modalities for COVID-19 are chest x-ray, CT chest and ultrasound but the main thing is chest x-ray and your CT chest. What are the indications for chest x-ray? What are the indications for CT chest? You need to go for those two things. And coming to the CORAX score, you need to go for CORAX score 1 to 6. So which is low and which is normal, which is very high, what is called CORAX 6 that is RT-PCR positive. Then coming to the CT severity. So, right lung which divided into three lobes and left lung which divides into two lobes, right? So, based on the involvement of the lung, you need to give score for each lobe. Then calculate the overall score. So, based on the overall score, you need to classify them into mild, moderate, severe. Less than 8 is mild and 9 to 15 is moderate and more than 15 is severe. So, these are the things which you need to go for related to the particular topic. Hope this video which gives you some knowledge related to the particular topic CORAT score and CT severity score and if any questions comes from this topic you have to answer very correctly 100 percentage and all the best for your exam thank you